All right, here we go, BFIT Nation. Welcome back to another episode, another Motivational Monday, another chance to focus on ourselves and our health and wellness with our BFIT Live program. If you are just joining us for the first time, we'd like to welcome you to our workout, our live workout here. This is a chance to focus on ourselves once again through a just under 30 minute workout to focus on our total body here. Um, you will not need any resistance. However, if you do have some resistance, if you do have a mat, let's go ahead and grab those items to scale up these movements um, to make things a little bit more challenging for ourselves as we get through the workout. So once again, welcome to BFIT Live. This is our chance to focus on ourselves and our workouts uh, moving into the week. So the way our BFIT Live goes is that we will work on four different movements for today. So we're going through four different exercises. Our timing for today will be 40 seconds of work, 20 seconds of rest, four rounds, and one minute rest in between each round. All right, so once again, that's 40 seconds on, 20 seconds off, so 20 seconds of rest, four exercises, four rounds, and one minute rest in between each round. All right, team, how does that sound? So get settled in, um, clear out a workout space for you. <laughs> Excuse me, a not, uh, not a lot of space is needed. Um, however, um, it is uh, encouraged to have just a little bit of space to move. We have some, some lateral movements that we are going to go through today. We have some static movements. We have a push-up complex that I will demo each of these movements, and we have some core activation for you as well. So again, a towel, hydration, grab that water bottle, okay? Get that gear ready. Let's get comfortable. Let's get settled in. I will demo each exercise uh, ahead in one second. We'll go in through some dynamic stretching to get our minds and our bodies prepared and ready to work. And then we'll move into the workout, okay? Um, so with that being said, BFIT Live, our four exercises for today are going to be a squat into a curl into a press. That's gonna be one exercise. <clears throat> I'll demo that in just one second. Exercise number two is gonna be a, a push-up complex. So we're gonna focus on our grip placement here, which is gonna be our hands placed onto the floor. We're gonna have a, a close grip, isolating that tricep, a medium grip, which is going to be our standard push-up. And then we're gonna go on to a wide grip to mimic a fly, okay, a chest uh, fly. All right, exercise number three, it's gonna be a lateral lunge with a pause at the bottom. So getting yourself a little more set into that lateral stance, that lateral position, and then giving yourself that pause to really focus on that isometric hold with that one second pause at the bottom of the movement and then standing right back up. I'll call this out in one second as well as I demo. And the last and final exercise is going to be a plank with diagonal reaches, okay? So starting off with number one here, <clears throat> a couple of cues here, uh, listen for any takeaways and for any cues that you can grab and work on executing each of these movements with correct form. So number one is gonna be a squat curl press. If we have any dumbbells, let's go ahead and grab those. All right, our dumbbells, our palms are gonna be facing us. We are going to have our feet shoulder width apart here, a soft bend at those knees as always, try not to lock them out. Okay, we are going to drop down into that squat, palms facing us once again. Out of that squat, we're gonna push those hips back, that chest is up, that head is looking straight ahead. Those knees are gonna track over the front of those toes, meaning we need to push those hips back, okay? If you feel like they are too far forward, think about setting those hips back, okay? Staying back on your heels. Into that squat, after that, we're gonna stand up nice and tall, nice and proud. We are going to bicep curl, and then we are going to go into an overhead press with that rotation. So bicep curl, rotate out, and then into an overhead press, okay? So working on that lower body, <clears throat> working on that upper body with our biceps, and then with that overhead press, activating those shoulders. So that's a three and one, a lot of bang for our buck there. So exercise number two, we have a push-up complex, and all of these movements are going to be executed for 40 seconds. Again, four rounds, 40 seconds on, 20 seconds off excuse me, we have a push-up <laughs> complex. So we are working in that high plank position here, okay? Remember to engage that core. Remember to keep those hips square to the floor and keep that back nice and flat. Relatively straight line from your neck all the way down to your heels. Close grip, meaning it's gonna be inside of shoulder width apart. So we are going to work for three reps at each grip. So one, two, three at that close grip. Then reset yourself 
<clears throat> your hand placement here. So just outside of your shoulder width apart, you're down into that standard push-up, And then you want to track out a little bit wider, palms facing uh, and tracking, fingertips <clears throat> tracking a little further out into that wide grip. You're going to control this movement going down for three reps. So three, three, and three. And then we rotate back and recycle back into that close grip, that medium grip, and that wide grip. If we need to scale back, perfectly fine here. Let's go ahead and come off of our knees here. Same great form, relatively straight line from that neck all the way down to those knees now with that close grip, focusing on tucking in those elbows close to our torso here with that close grip, that standard medium grip push-up, and then that wide grip push-up, okay? That's gonna be exercise number two with that three push-up complex. Exercise number three, we are going in back to standing position with a lateral lunge and a pause. So find that center part of that space that you're working with. You're gonna rotate out, rotate. You are going to lateral lunge out to the right, pausing at the bottom, back to standing position. And then we will lateral lunge, lateral lunge out to the left with that slight pause at the bottom. So that pause may be one second and then we are back to standing position, okay? Making sure that those <clears throat> hips go back as well as that knee tracks over the toe, okay? Be mindful of where your foot placement is as well. You want to make sure that you're coming out in that lateral lunge in a straight line. Try not to be forward with that front, that lateral foot, or try not to be too far back. So you wanna be in that line here with that lateral lunge, chest is up, hips are coming back, knee tracking over that toe. Lateral lunge with a pause, back to standing. So that's exercise number three. And exercise number four, as I've lost my camera, we are back to a diagonal reach, okay? So let's think about this diagonal reach as I reposition you. All right, so diagonal reach. We are gonna be on the floor here, <clears throat> on our elbows to be exact. So uh, if you have a mat, go ahead and grab that. We're gonna be in that low plank position. From that low plank position, we are going to reach out, opposite hand, opposite leg, okay? So my right hand goes out, my left leg goes left, right? Back to starting position with that uh, low plank. Left hand goes out, right leg goes out. So you can see my right leg tracking or my left leg tracking outward outside of my torso and my shoulder width apart stance. And then my arms are going to reach forward as well. If we need to regress here, let's come off of our elbows just the same here. We are on our knees and we are going to just go into um, toe or actually uh, taps as well ahead of us, okay? So we're just going to tap it out here. Give yourself a second pause uh, while you tap. Nice controlled movements, nice slow movements to really work on engaging that core. We wanna make sure that those hips Try to stay square and you wanna make sure that that back is flat, okay? So keep those hips down. That's gonna be our four exercises for today, team. All right, how does that sound for us? How does that sound? Make sure and let me know where you're joining from. I have you queued up right here with me. So, Tom Dowd, inspired to be better. Yes, sir, welcome joining us. Welcome, welcome, welcome. All right, great to see you here, Tom. All right, again, be fit live. Those are gonna be our four exercises for today. All right. Um, we are gonna jump into some dynamic stretches right now, and then we will move into our workout for today. So just like before any workout, we want to make sure that our minds and our bodies are prepared to do the work that we are about to ask for it to do. So that means some stretching. We want to prime our bodies here. So with that, we are gonna go into a dynamic quad stretch. So we're activating and stretching out those quads, as well as multiple muscle groups to again, to again just tackle a little bit more uh, than a static, a static lunge or a static stretch. So we're gonna take that right leg team, we are going to extend it back behind our hips, and our left hand is going to go up and overhead, pushing those hips forward. You should feel that stretch in your quad as well as in your hip flexors, and that overhead reach is going to extend all the way up overhead. So reach as far as you can here. We're gonna do each of these movements for about 30 seconds, and then we will move on to another dynamic stretch here. So follow along or go as quickly or as slowly as you need to, okay? Dynamic quad stretch is going to be right now. 
for about another 15 seconds. Another few reps here. <clears throat> this is a great time to really focus on your body, focus on how you're feeling today. A lot of days are different. We ask a lot from our bodies. So it's a great time to just kind of start warming up and preparing our bodies to work here. So let's go into a lateral lunge here. We have some lateral lunges that we are going to tackle with a pause, but for this one, not too aggressive here. Nice wide stance here. Our toes are gonna to be tracking forward and fixed straight ahead. We want to just kind of shift our weight to the right and to the left, really working on warming up those legs, getting some blood flow to those lower extremities, <clears throat> as well as feeling a stretch within that inner thigh here, okay? Nothing too aggressive here. We're just trying to warm up the legs here, get some blood flow going and get a little stretch from this as well, okay? Keep that chest up, keep that head up. I'm looking at you, we are looking at each other, getting ready to tackle this workout here. So a few more of these here, sit in it, go at your own pace. Once again, about 30 seconds, each of these dynamic stretches. All right, let's go into the top of our space here. We're gonna reverse lunge back with an overhead reach. So <clears throat> here we go, top of our space, right leg goes back, extends down, hovers that floor, palms and hands come together, and we are reaching to our left, reaching to the side that your lead foot is up. So you're back to standing position. Reverse lunge, overhead reach. With that overhead reach, you should, feel, you should feel that stretch within your lats, your mid to upper back, your shoulders, with any type of mobility here. Again, there's a little bit of a different view here. Reverse lunge, overhead reach, sit in it, pause for a second or two. Back to standing position, warming up these legs, these quads. I really feel the, I feel them activating already. Good. Two more here. Chest is up, head's looking straight ahead. Your gaze is at your device or at your TV, straight ahead. All right, team. Let's go into some inchworms here, okay? So again, warming up this core, warming up our core here with inchworms, working on <clears throat> stability control. Also, as we extend down, touching those toes, you'll feel that stretch in the hamstrings here. Slowly walk it out in a controlled movement, high plank position. You can rest here for a second, pause, retract back up, reload, stand tall, really elongate and extend that spine. And we're rotating and extending right back down here to that high plank position once again. Our hands are gonna be tracking underneath our shoulders for the most support out of that high plank position. Really rotating up, All right? Let's go two more here. Think about those, that breathing as well into that high plank position. <clears throat> back to standing, last one here. Coming down, nice and controlled, nice and slow. Good. All right, last but not least, let's go into some YTWs here. This is a great chance to really work on mobility, get some blood flow into our upper body here with that with our shoulders, with our mid to upper back. <clears throat> so we are gonna come hands together here. Just like it sounds, we're gonna make, make a big Y formation, a big T formation, and a big W formation with our arms. So from center here, we are going to extend as tall as we can into that Y. Palms are gonna be facing the back of the room here. Really stretching out nice and wide here. Back to our T. Good, and then let's make a big W here, bringing those shoulder blades back. Those shoulders are back, shoulder blades are contracting. All right, back to that Y here. Good. One second pause, back to that T. Really trying to reach left and right as far as you can. And back to that nice strong W here. Again, scapula's coming back, shoulders are coming back. Chest is up nice and proud. Last but not least, another Y. Last round here, big T. All right, team, one more time with that W. All right, all right team, let's move it out. Let's 
shake it out. Let's grab some water, grab that towel. Let's get settled in here. I will start the timer. We have four rounds. Mm, mm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Four rounds once again, <clears throat> 40 seconds of work, 20 seconds of rest, four exercises, four rounds, one minute rest in between each round. All right, team. We're working off of my Fitbit today with the timer starting. <clears throat> All right, team, let's check in, check in, check in. Let me know where you're joining us from. All right, okay. All right, once again, that squat curl press is gonna be up at our first exercise and then into that push up. Third exercise is gonna be that lateral lunge with a pause and fourth is gonna be that diagonal reaches into that low plank here. So number one coming up, squat curl press, grab that weight. If you have it, if not, make nice strong fists here. All right, squat curl press coming up in three, two, one. Here we go, team, 40 seconds of work here. Feet are shoulder width apart, soft bend at those knees, dropping down into that squat, raising back up to standing position, palms facing you with that curl, rotate out into that overhead press. Nice controlled movements here, down into that squat, stand up nice and tall. Bicep curl into that curl, and then Bicep meets ear with that overhead press. All right, halfway there. Find a tempo that's comfortable for you. 30 seconds in, last 10 seconds. Out in five. Last three, two, one, and time. 40 seconds of work is in the books here. We are going to reset for 20 seconds of rest. We have that push up complex coming up. How are we feeling, team? How are we feeling? Working through here. All right, remember we are on deck here with that close grip, that medium grip, and that wide grip. All right, team, here we go. In three, two, one, and 40 seconds on the clock here. Three reps at each close grip here. Nice, strong foot placement here, medium grip. Three reps each. Transition out into that wide grip here. Our hands should be placed at chest level for each of these movements. Back into that close grip here. 20 seconds in, halfway there. If we need to regress onto our knees, let's go ahead and drop to those knees. <clears throat> Again, hands are gonna be at chest level. 10 more seconds here. All right, team. Last seven, eight, and time. All right, 20 seconds of rest here. Good job, good job. How are we doing? How are we doing, team? We have that lateral lunge with a pause coming up. 10 seconds here. All right, last five. So lateral lunge with a pause coming up. And two, one, and let's work, team. Center of our space here, 40 seconds of work. Add that pause in at the bottom right back to standing position. And then your lateral lunge out to our left. Remember to keep that chest up. Those shoulders are gonna rotate back. Those hands are up right in front of our chest. Our gaze is straight ahead here. <sighs> Give me a pause at the bottom here. <clears throat> good, good, good. Last 10 seconds here with that lateral lunge and a pause. Come down to your comfort level, last five seconds. Three, two, one, and time. 20 seconds of rest here. And we have that diagonal reach, that low plank diagonal reach here. <sighs> How are we feeling team? How are we feeling nation? All right, five seconds here. Plank diagonal reaches coming up and three, two, one. Here we go, team, low plank position here. We are on our elbows. Those elbows are gonna be directly underneath those shoulders. All right, right hand reaches out, left leg extends to our left. Left hand reaches out, touches. Right leg extends out to our side. All right, nice and controlled movements here. Think about engaging that core. Those hips are down and square to the floor. Good, keep it up. Focus on that breathing. Last 10 seconds here. Nice controlled reaches. Out in five, 
three, two, one, and time. Good work, team. Good work. Grab that water. We have 60 seconds of rest here, and then we are going to jump into round number two. How are we feeling? Any questions? Any mods? Huh? How are we doing? How are we doing? Let's see. Let's see. All right. Once again, Tom, thank you for joining us from Performance Inspired. Inspired to be better. All right. Just like Tom says, just like he says, each week, we're working on building ourselves week by week, trying to strengthen ourselves one week at a time, one day at a time. So this is a great way, again, to focus on ourselves, to progress throughout our weeks here. All right. Good. Last 10 seconds here, and we have that squat curl press coming up. <clears throat> All right. Grab that resistance here. We are up in five, four, three, two, one. Squat curl press coming up. Here we go, team. 40 seconds on the clock. Round two, just beginning. Into that squat. Nice strong stance with that curl. Rotate out to that overhead press. Into that squat, controlled movements, driving up from that heel. Engaging those quads as you come to standing position. Elbows tucked into your torso with that curl. Rotate out, palms facing out, overhead press, bicep meets the ear, 26 seconds in. We're working for 40 seconds. Last 10 seconds. Good. Last rep here. Out in four, three, two, one, and time. 20 seconds of rest here, and then we jump into that push-up complex. All right, three reps, close grip, three reps, medium grip, three reps, three reps with that wide grip. <laughs> All right, grab that water, grab that water, grab that towel. We're up in five seconds, team. Three, two, one. Here we go. 40 seconds of work here. Push up complex, close grip here. Isolating those triceps. Back to standard position here. Three reps, each grip placement, each hand placement, wide grip here. Good, feel that scapula retract back. Two, three, good. 30 seconds in, last 10. Last six, add in four. Three, two, one, and time. Good job team, good job. All right, we have 20 seconds of rest here and we are up standing position for that lateral lunge with a pause, all right. How are we doing? Any questions? Any questions for me? Where are you joining us from? Where are you watching from? Let us know. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right, team. Here we go. Lateral lunge with a pause coming up. Two, one. Here we go, team. Center of our space here. Out to the right. Knee tracking over the front of your toe here. Push those hips back. Chest is up. Nice and proud. Back to standing position. Good. Use those arms for momentum if you need. Good. Good job. Halfway there. Nice controlled movements, especially with that pause. Good. Last 10 seconds here. Again, to your comfort level, wherever that lateral lunge may be. Out in three, two, one, and time. 20 seconds of rest here. We are on deck for that plank with those diagonal reaches. Remember, if we need to drop down to our knees and just reach out in front of us, let's do that team. The goal here is to keep our core nice and tight, keep those hips square to the floor, right? Our back is flat. We are up in three, two, one. Plank here, low plank to be exact. Right hand extends out with that touch. Left leg extends out with that touch. Left hand out, right leg out. Right hand out, left leg out. Find that tempo, keeping that back flat. Focusing on that breathing, 20 seconds in, halfway there. Good, keeping that head down. Good, last 10 seconds. Out in seven, team. Five, three, two, 
one and time round two we have cleared <laughs> 60 seconds of rest here grab that water grab that towel let's recover let's replenish any fluids we may have lost all right refocus right and then we'll jump into that third set here how are we feeling bfit nation how are we feeling <clears throat> good 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 all right 30 seconds of rest here Again, thank you for joining us today. If you're new to the program, we have 20 seconds of rest left here. We have just gone through two rounds. So we are coming up on our third round, 40 seconds on, 20 seconds off. Four exercises that we tackle through each round. Last 10 seconds here, grab that resistance. Squat, curl, press. It's coming up in five seconds. Up in three, two, one. And here we go, team. 40 seconds on the clock. Squat, curl, press. Good. Nice, strong stance here, driving up through those heels. Elbows are tucked in close to our torso here with that curl, palms are facing us. Rotate out, overhead reach, overhead press. Back down into that squat. 30 seconds in, team, last 10 seconds. Out in five, last three, two, one, and time. 20 seconds of rest here, and we have a push up complex. Mm hmm, mm hmm. How are we doing, team? All right, 10 seconds left here, down on the deck here. Push up complex, up in five. All right, team, three, two, one. Here we go, team. Close grip. Three reps each, two, three, standard grip. We need to drop to our knees. Let's go ahead and do that, team. One, two, three. Extend out for that chest fly mimic. One, two, three reps. Back into close grip here, 20 seconds in. Good, keeping that back flat. Those hips are square to the floor. All right, team, last nine seconds. Out in five, last three, two, one, time. Good job, team, good job. 20 seconds of rest here. Lateral lunge with the pause, so we are right back to standing position. Good, 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 good. <laughs> Steve, 60, 60 what? We want 60 seconds? Is this? <laughs> 60 minutes here we go 20 seconds of rest here and we're jumping into that lateral lunge with the pause coming up here we go team 40 seconds on the clock extending out tracking over that toe good nice controlled movements here with our resistance out in 10 i'm sorry 15 we are in good 20 seconds in Let's go to our comfort level, our tempo here. Lateral lunge with the pause. Last 10 seconds, team. Good, out in five. Those last reps in, out in three, two, one, and time. Okay, 20 seconds of rest here. Catch that breath, diagonal plank reaches. Coming up next. How are we doing, team? How are we doing? Good job, stay with me here, stay with me. 10 seconds here on the floor here. Plank diagonal reaches coming up in five. Here you go, team. Three, two, one. And starting the clock here, 40 seconds of work. Plank diagonal reaches here. Again, extending out to your comfort level. If you need to drop to our knees and work on that low plank reach, perfectly fine. Let's do it. Good. If we want to scale up, let's go ahead and reach a little higher here. 25 seconds in. Give me that pause at the top as a movement. Last 10 seconds. 
good. Keeping those hips square to the floor. Out in five, three, two, one, and time. Good job. 60 seconds of work here in the books. Round three in the books, to be exact. All right, 60 seconds of rest. All right, time to recover, time to reset, refocus, and head into that last and final round here, okay? This is a great chance if you have any resistance available to you for that squat curl press, scale up. Let's challenge ourselves. If it doesn't challenge us, it doesn't change us. All right, let's work on scaling up and just that little bit of challenge, okay? We never know where our ceiling is at until we meet that ceiling and then our ceiling becomes even higher. 30 seconds here. Good, good, good. All right, team. 20 seconds of rest here, and we are standing nice and tall for that squat, squat curl plus. 15 seconds, and we are back up. All right, shake it off. Rotate it out. Get ready for that last round, right? Our last round is our best round. Coming up in five seconds here. All right, team. Three, two, one. Here we go, team. Squat curl press coming up. 40 seconds on the clock. Let's get dialed in. Good. Nice control movements with the squat. Driving up into standing position. Curl into that overhead press. Control that movement coming back down with that bicep curl. Reverse bicep curl. Bam. Control that bicep coming down. Making sure our shoulders are rotation, rotated out and back. Good, squat into that curl. Last 10 seconds, team. All right, good. Last three, two, one, and time. 40 seconds of work in the books. 20 seconds of rest coming up here. And then we have that push-up complex. All right, we're hitting our lower body, hitting that biceps, hitting our shoulders, hitting our chest. Core engagement is key for all of these movements here. So. It may be a secondary muscle group that we're activating or a third. All right, three seconds here into that push-up complex. Two, one, 40 seconds of work, team. Close grip, medium grip, wide grip. Close grip, three reps. Medium grip, standard push-up position. One, two, three. Nice and controlled. Wide grip here, reset. Making sure that we come down at chest level. Back to close grip here, halfway there, 20 seconds in. Good, medium grip. Make sure to breathe out on the way up. Last eight seconds here, last five. Out in three, two, one. There we go, team time, halfway through, halfway through our last and final round. Lateral lunges, we're back on top of those lateral lunges with a pause. Catch that breath. Let's dial that breath back down. All right, five seconds here. Find that center of our space here. Lateral lunge with a pause coming up in three, two, one. Here we go, team. Lateral lunge. Sit back and down, pausing at the bottom, sitting back up to standing position. Lateral lunge here. Chest is up. Head is looking straight ahead. That knee is trekking over that toe. Good. Drive back up to standing position here, out of that lateral 20 seconds or less. Coming up, last 10 seconds here, team. Last 10 seconds, give me those last reps. Out in five, last three, two, one, and time. 20 seconds of rest here, coming into our final exercise. Final exercise here. All right, team, plank diagonal reaches. Last and final core activation movement here. All right, last set, best set, last round, best round. Coming up in three, two, one. All right, team, plank diagonal reaches. We are in that low plank position. All right, let's scale up if we can, keeping those hips square to the floor. That back is nice and flat. Elbows are right underneath those shoulders. Head is looking down, right? You want that spinal alignment at all times. So you want to be looking down. Try not to look up. 20 seconds in. Scale down to our knees if we need to. Work on those reaches. 
Last 10 seconds here. Focus on that breathing. Out in five. Last three, two, one, and time. Oh, give yourself a hand, give yourself a break. Give yourself some water for this round, team. Good job, good work, good work today. How are we feeling, team? How are we feeling? Four rounds, just like that. Four rounds in the books for today. <sighs> How are we doing? How are we feeling? Any questions, any comments, any mods, any modifications? Hmm? All right. Looks like we are good. Looks like we are good, team. Looks like we are good. All right. Once again, BFIT Live here. Thank you so much for joining us today. I say us as our BFIT program, our exchange family, and as a community here. We are here to support one another. We are here to help encourage one another, motivate one another, okay? If it's accountability, let's reach out to those that we feel need the most encouragement that, can, that we can help the most, all right? Let's get them on the health and wellness track, right? Get them on that right track for the best health and wellness for them, okay? Let's keep our bodies moving throughout this week. We started off nice and strong this Monday. Let's continue this momentum throughout the week, okay? And we will see you again. We are here every Monday at 11 a.m. Central Standard Time, all right? Um, <clears throat> and I think that's, a, that's, that's, that's all the fun that we have for today, team. Let me know once again, share this with your friends. If you're looking for additional content, additional workouts, look on our Exchange Facebook page under our videos. Under playlists, you'll see a BeFit tab, okay? That's gonna be our program. And all of our program workouts are gonna be cataloged there. Every workout has been different so far. Almost coming up on a year for us, a little shy of a couple months. But um, so great to have you again here with us this Monday. So once again, um, I'm Roy Montes, your BFIT ambassador. Okay, everybody, take care. All right, be ready, be safe, be resilient, and let's be fit, guys. Signing off.